Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today is going to be my TBR for the month of April. I'm doing something different for April. Imagine that! In continuing with my TBR games for the year, I have about 3,025,000 or so book series that are completed on my bookshelves. That's right, book series that I've bought the first book all the way to the last book and I've never read a single one of them. I have a lot of those. All of the books that are going to be what I'm considering my April 1st are books from prior to 2018. So they're books that I purchased prior to 2018. Guys, there's a lot of them. Originally, there was going to be 11 of these, but I actually ran out of audiobooks in the month of March. So I ended up reading Shiver by Maggie Stiefvater and The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey in the month of March rather than leaving them for this month. So I took some off of my already TBR for April and read them in March. Um, if you want to know how I felt about those two books, I will link my wrap up for March in the description box below as well as in the cards so you can hear me rant about the fifth wave. Cool. So that leaves us with Shatter Me by Tahata Mafi. This book is about a girl by the name of Juliet who lives in a somewhat post-apocalyptic world and she is not capable of touching people because she kills them if she touches them and I know there's like a love triangle in this series. I don't know a whole lot about it. I'm not super fond of Moffy's writing style so I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this but I'm gonna give it a go. Next is Starflight by Melissa Landers. I don't know what this series is about. I'm assuming that it's sci-fi but I really don't know. I bought Starflight and Starfall based off of Starfall's cover because I thought it was pretty on Book Outlet a couple of years ago and now I have them both and I haven't read them. Next is The Novice by Taryn Mathrew. This is the first book in the Summoner series. I don't know a whole lot about this series either. That's kind of a theme for today. This book follows the main character, Fletcher, who can summon demons and once he figures out that he can summon demons he's kind of ran from his hometown and he goes to the school where they teach these people who can summon demons how to be a summoner and how to fight with them so that they can fight against a war against some orcs. I think that's kind of the gist of it. Not really sure. I own the whole series and the prequel novel so I probably need to start reading these. Next is The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Avier. This is a retelling of A Thousand and One Nights. It's set in a kingdom where a prince or he may be a king. I'm not sure. I don't remember if he's a boy king or a prince but either way someone in royalty takes a new wife every night and every night he kills his new bride. So essentially he's been going on for however long basically killing a new a different woman every night and I believe in the original 101 Nights the girl's name was Scheherazade. Basically she marries the king and rather than allowing him to kill her she tells him a story that leaves on a cliffhanger so that he wants to continue letting her live so that he can hear the end of the story. And basically in the original tale it was A Thousand and One Nights and I don't know how it ended but I do remember that aspect of it. So there's like some revenge plot in here and there's some retellings. Here's my issue and why I haven't picked these up yet. I've read Flame in the Mist and Smoke in the Sun by Renee Avier and I didn't really like them very much. I don't really like Renee's writing style. I love Renee as like a human being but I don't really love her writing style so I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about these and I'm very tepid going into them. Next is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. Don't really know what this series is about either. Like you hear so much about this series and everyone talks about how much they love it and they talk about which boy they fanboy over and like what fangirl over actually would be a more accurate term and all I've basically have ever heard is that it's about an assassin who doesn't kill anybody. I don't know but it's a hype train book and I'm gonna read it, okay? Calm down. Next is Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. This is the first book in the Remnant Chronicles. This story follows a girl who is a first daughter, which basically means that as a princess it is her destiny to marry into another royal family and the first daughter is supposedly has some sort of magical powers that tells them things in their brain. They're like psychic or something, I don't know. She decides she doesn't want to marry the prince that they're marrying her off to so she runs away and she's followed by these two men who 
One of them is the prince that she ran from and one of them is an assassin that is sent to kill her to kind of ruin the the royal ties between the two families. And throughout the book you don't know which boy is which so you just kind of have to guess. It was spoiled for me so I do know going in like which boy is which. But the original tale you're not supposed to know which boy is which and it's kind of supposed to add to the story so I'm really excited about this one I've heard a lot of good things about it next is Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo again I don't really know a lot about what this is about but again it was one that was hyped on booktube and so I bought it I know this is a fantasy novel and it has to do with like heists and kind of morally gray characters so excited next is Aragon by Christopher Paolini this has probably been up this is probably the oldest book on my TBR probably I would say I've had this for 10 years or so. I don't know exactly how long it's been, but it's been a long time. Um, I watched the movie. I enjoyed the movie, so I bought the book. So probably whenever the movie came out, that's how long I've had this book on my shelves because I watched the movie in theaters and liked it. I have been putting these off because the other books in the series are so massive that I'm just not prepared to spend that much time with them, which is kind of the problem that I have with some other books that we're going to talk about later. Big books terrify me. I don't. I haven't watched the movie in a really long time, and I haven't read the blurb on this ever, so I don't actually know what it's about. And the last book in the April 1st section of this TBR is The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan. This is the first book in The King Chronicles, which is kind of a connected series to the Percy Jackson series. Is this? Is, 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 is. There's a lot of them, okay? Uh, basically, it's mid-grade. It's set in Egypt. It follows a brother and a sister, and I know it has something to do with the Egyptian gods. That's pretty much all I have for that. Fantasy-a-thon. I'm going to be doing the Fantasy-a-thon in the month of April as well. That will be a separate TBR, so I will link that in the description box below as well as in the cards whenever that gets posted. Spoiler alert, it's got a lot of the books that we just talked about on it, okay? Then let's get into my TBR box picks. Let's do that. Okay, TBR box. I have decided that this month I am not going to pick a pre-2018 book because I've already got nine of them. No pre-2019 book because I'm pretty sure that whatever one I pull is going to be one from that shelf anyway. So we're just going to do post-2018. And whatever it is, I have to read it because it won't be a, I have to read one of the two. There's only going to be one, so I have to read it, right? Okay. I want this one. Oh, there's two there. Three there. Ah, blue one. The Name of the Star, which is by Maureen Johnson. Here it is. This is one of those ones that I don't know a lot about, but I do like Maureen Johnson, so I bought this entire series off a of book outlet. I know it's set in London because it's called like the London Shades of London trilogy, and it's paranormal. That's pretty much all I know. So adding that to the TBR. Okay, now let's get into the carryover. First is What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. This is about two boys who have meat cutes and they continuously have meat cutes and don't like each other and they think maybe it's them. I don't know, something like that. The next three are from my author tube appreciation month where I didn't finish reading hardly any author tube books at all because I suck at life. The first is I Am Mercy by Mandy Lynn. The second is Eveline's Number by Bethany Atazada. And the third book is Riser by Becca C. Smith, which I did start, but I haven't finished yet. And then you know they're coming. Lord of Shadows, Queen of Air Darkness, still here. I have read some more of Lord of Shadows, but I still haven't finished it yet. These are what I was referencing when I talked about it with Aragon, that big books scare me. I made an agreement with Brittany that we would not start reading the third book until both of us had finished the second book so we could talk about it together and we wouldn't have to worry about spoiling anybody because we would both know the exact same amount of information. I may not get to this one for a while depending on her schedule and what she's able to do but she is right now ahead of me in Lord of Shadows so we'll see. Must read this very soon. This is ridiculous. These are my books for my TBR for the month of April. Ah, there's the bottom one. Okay. Uh, I think we've surpassed Wish Me Luck. I think at this point it's just send help. Please send help. Let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these and how you felt about them and give me all the help for reading because I think I'm gonna need it. 
that is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and surprise videos on the weekends. So until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!